Hello everybody, in this video we'll be using the Nessus Vulnerability Scanner to look for vulnerabilities in a target and then later exploit those vulnerabilities that Nexus found. So first let's start a scan. So let's just click New Scan. I'll be using Windows for the Nessus, but I'll then be using Kali to exploit the vulnerabilities. But you can also use Nessus in Kali if you wish. So let's just name our scan, Metasploitable, VM, because we're going to be checking vulnerabilities on Metasploitable. And this is going to be an internal network scan. And Metasploitable for me is running at 192.168.1.92. So then we're going to click Run Scan. And then, as you can see here, Nessus is running the scan on Metasploitable. So it found the host and it's checking for vulnerabilities. All right, so I will let that run in the background and then I will come back. All right, so now the scan has finished. So let's click to view the results. So we can see here that it uh, com completely finished the scan. And so it, we only scanned one host, which was Metasploitable. So if we click on it, uh, we see all the vulnerabilities it found. So it sorts the vulnerabilities by certain, uh, by uh, how big of a risk that vulnerability is. We have the critical ones, the high level, medium, low, and even down to just information. And these, and it also uh, tells you uh, what uh, type of vulnerability it is, like general, uh, service detection, FTP, port scanner, whatnot. So these info ones can actually be pretty helpful. So it tells you, okay, for FTP uh, service we found VSTP run, running uh, version 2.3.4 and something like, like we found a PostGrow SQL server. So those info ones can be very helpful. Some have more uh, valuable information than others. But let's move on to the actual uh, vulnerabilities. So we have the low ones here. It's just saying that uh, there's clear text, unencrypted. Some more, a ton of medium vulnerabilities here. And some of the higher ones, and then the critical ones, which are really, really bad. So let's first uh, try to exploit this one, which is a critical vulnerability. So this will get you a remote shell. So it tells you this is a VSTP smiley face backdoor. Um, gives you some resources to check out, a uh, solution on how to fix it, and uh, risk information. So you can see it's a CVSS a score of 10, which is the highest. And then it tells you that it's exploitable with Metasploit um, with this module. So you just search that and load it up in Metasploit. So let's go ahead and exploit that. So we already have that loaded up in here. So we set our R host and then the R port. So now we all, let, all we have to do is exploit and it will get a remote shell. Yep, so there we go. And you can see we have full access. So you can just exit that and we'll check out another one. So this time we will check out the Unreal backdoor. So this is a remote IRC server backdoor. The CVSS score of 10, again, is the highest. And it tells you what uh, Metasploit module you can use to exploit it. So just copy it. Head over to this Metasploit. Um, this is the R host. exploit and we have a remote shell there we go so you can just exit that again and just check out some other ones so this one is a VNC server as a really weak password of password so you can just log into the VNC server really easily so let's just check that out have here, oops, 
a VNC viewer. So we type in the server and the password, which is password. And just click connect. And there we go. We have a remote session. Yes. Take a look at it. We're in the roots folder. So there we go. We can move things around. Like that of that. Let's just check out one more. So here, this one is using a known set of credentials in the Apache Tomcat. So again, this has a CVSS score of 10. We're using an uh, exploit. So it says that if we log on here. Okay, I already logged in, but there would uh, be a pop-up saying, what are your credentials? And basically you just enter in Tomcat and Tomcat and you get this screen. So let's check out the admin panel. Again, this is the same credentials. So we get into the administrative panel. So now we can do whatever we want because we have full admin asset, uh, access. So, oops. Uh, okay. So there are a ton of other vulnerabilities out there, like some can get a shell remotely, um, that's FTP, but you, you can get a gain a shell there too. Unsupported web server detection, what is this? Okay, this is saying that the uh, the Tomcat's version is unsupported, so even if there's a critical flaw in this version of Tomcat, they're not going to release an update for it. So what else there is? This so one's saying that anonymous FTP can be allowed, which generally should not be happening. Saying the SSL has a self-signed certificate. The Telnet server is encrypted so someone can sniff the password. Um, you can do DNS server catch snooping. The NFC shares are world readable. And FTP is clear text, so again, you can sniff the password. So, those are all the vulnerabilities. There are like over 100, which is pretty crazy. So, a lot of them are just information ones, but there are really good amounts of real vulnerabilities. You're not going to get this much uh, in actual testing because this is. This virtual machine is specifically designed to have a ton of vulnerabilities, but you can play around and have fun and check out the other vulnerabilities. Alright, so that concludes this video. Um, if you have any questions or uh, comments, leave them in the comment section below or any suggestions for future videos. Alright, thanks for watching.